supervisor here at the Hershey Chocolate Factory. I was asked to be your guide today and I can't wait to show you around. Everyone ready? Let's go. It all starts with cocoa beans, which are harvested and shipped to us from tropical regions around the world. We send the cocoa beans through large cleaning machines that screen and thoroughly remove unwanted parts like pulp and bits of cacao pod. Cocoa experts carefully select, sort, and combine beans from various countries in precise amounts to achieve that unique and consistent Hershey's flavor. blended cocoa beans into large revolving roasters which get extremely hot. Toasty in here, isn't it? <laughs> Next, we quickly cool the beans and feed them into our breaking chamber, which cracks open the shells at high speed. Inside each shell are tiny pieces called cocoa nibs. Hey, a good friend of mine is waiting up ahead to tell us more. Guess who that is? Hey, which grind cocoa nibs into unsweetened chocolate. Cocoa nibs have been ground down like this for thousands of years. Milling machines generate lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate. Our pressing machines squeeze the unsweetened chocolate into discs of cocoa powder, known as Hershey's cocoa. Pressing also produces cocoa butter, which we'll use later on in the process. Every day, shining tanker trucks pick up milk from local farms and line up outside our factory for delivery. Hershey is one of the only companies in the world that uses fresh milk to make milk chocolate. Fresh milk is part of what gives Hershey's milk chocolate its delicious and distinctive taste. Hey. Part of my job is to make sure all of that milk meets our high quality standards. Once it passes testing, we mix sugar into the milk using large batching tanks. We pasteurize and condense the sweetened milk and then blend in the perfect amount of unsweetened chocolate. This is where the art of chocolate making all comes together. As the mixture cooks, it begins to form delicious little pieces that we call chocolate crumbs. Until it reaches a smooth, uniform consistency. 
Here's our friend Kiss to explain the next step in the process. What about recent? We temper the milk chocolate, heating and cooling it to just the right texture and consistency. During tempering, we can mix in other ingredients such as roasted California almonds. Next, we pour the milk chocolate into molds and send them on a bumpy conveyor ride. Then we send the molds through cooling tunnels that solidify the chocolate. Delicious Hershey's chocolate goodness is finally ready to be packaged. Like Hershey's milk chocolate in special dog bars. Hey, don't forget about Reese's peanut butter cups. My personal favorite. Everyone has a favorite. Mine are Hershey's Kisses chocolates. Aww, thanks, It looks like our packages are ready to go, and I better get going too. It's been a privilege being your guide today. Remember that wherever you go, you're never far from the So be sure to share that with the ones you love. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Tunnel. And that's the end of the ride.